how hormones influence us. Did you know that your brain is constantly communicating with the rest of your body, sending special chemicals called hormones from one nerve to another? Of course you did. Don't underestimate the power of hormones. These microscopic guys influence how your brain works and can increase or decrease your energy level, sex drive, and fat storage. They can even control your emotions and mood. In short, they're tiny, but they pack a mighty punch. Dopamine People associate this hormone with pleasure and reward. Dopamine can make or break your work ethic. It can motivate you to work hard, or hardly work, to achieve some result. By studying rats, scientists noted a strange tendency. The animals were given a choice between two piles of food, a small one or a big one. The catch is that they put the big one behind a fence. And guess what? Rats with a low level of dopamine never chose to make an effort and climb the fence. At the same time, their higher dopamine-carrying counterparts storm the fence to reach the bigger pile. Follow me, boys! Over the fence! <laughs> So don't forget to tip your hat to dopamine the next time you drag yourself out of bed in order to tackle the day and check all the points off your to-do list. You should also thank dopamine for that warm, fuzzy feeling of pride and reward when you complete everything you wanted to do. I'm so proud! Of course, there is a downside. A lot of illegal drugs and alcohol, as well as coffee and candy, make the body produce more dopamine. No wonder these substances are addictive. If you can't stop eating chocolate, it's not you, it's your body craving dopamine. Ah, uh, that lets me off the hook. <laughs> One more sign that you don't have enough of this hormone is slow and uncoordinated movements of your body. On the flip side, if you have too much of the chemical, you might experience too many unnecessary movements or even repetitive tics. If after learning this information, You've realized that you urgently need more of this hormone in your body. Include the following dopamine-boosting foods in your diet. Fish, chicken, eggs, nuts, beans, and cheese. What about the chocolate? Serotonin. This hormone is one of the happiness hormones. Surprisingly, 90% of this chemical is in your intestines and blood platelets, which means that serotonin also plays an important role in digestive health. Its nickname is the feel-good hormone, and not without reason. <laughs> if you sleep well, have high self-esteem, are generally in a good mood, enjoy a healthy appetite and sexual desire, or memorize everything easily, your serotonin is definitely at a good level. What's more, having enough of this hormone helps you multitask. People with serotonin imbalance or deficiency suffer from anxiety, panic attacks, depression, or even fits of anger. And if you constantly get stuck on certain thoughts that seem more important than anything else in the world, this is called obsessive behavior, and a low level of serotonin is to blame. To produce serotonin, your body needs carbohydrates, so eat more bananas and yogurt. Also, try to get more sunlight, as it helps your body produce vitamin D, which in turn helps with serotonin production. Just don't forget about the sunscreen. Oxytocin. This hormone is the so-called love hormone. Yeah, baby! And your body releases it when you touch someone near and dear to you, whether it be a friend, a relative, or a lover. Oxytocin boosts your feeling of love and trust which is why being in a relationship makes people happy. High levels of oxytocin help you effectively fight stress, increase sex drive, and even lower your blood pressure. If you feel lonely, stressed, tired, or unworthy, it may mean that your level of oxytocin is too low. People with this kind of problem tend to stay at home, avoid communication, and never have the energy to meet up with others or keep up a conversation. While it may seem peaceful, this reclusive lifestyle makes people with oxytocin deficiency unhappy. They realize something is wrong, but can't quite grasp what exactly is happening to them. If you recognize your symptoms, don't worry, there are several tips to increase the level of the love hormone in your body. First of all, get a massage. What? Yes, you heard that correctly. A massage will help you kill two birds with one stone. Your muscles will relax, and such prolonged physical contact will release oxytocin into your system. Plus, 
Anyone who's ever gotten a professional massage knows that it feels amazing. So get to it! One more thing to do is hug your friends and family members any chance you get. Touch a colleague's arm while chatting, or cuddle with your pet on the couch in the evening. Well, as long as you don't have a python as a pet. Yeah, that's right. Who knew that hugs could benefit your health? Melatonin. This awesome chemical is called the anti-aging hormone. It's responsible for regulating your body clock and for recuperation and rest. Melatonin sets the pace for your body, letting it know what time of the day it is and even the time of year. It's uh, like a calendar hormone, man. As soon as the sun sets, the pineal gland in your brain gets down to work pumping out melatonin, which, in turn, makes you sleepy. The amount of this chemical in the system reaches its peak at 2 or 3 a.m. Light receptors in the brain trigger melatonin production when it's dark, which is the reason why blind people often have to take special supplements that help them regulate the level of melatonin in their body. This hormone is vital for people as it helps combat stress and even works as an antioxidant. Plus, it helps you sleep. Who doesn't love dozing off into dreamland, flying on the back of a dragon, or being a rock star on a stage in front of millions of screaming fans? Or what about, you know, being naked in church? That's not good. Unfortunately, nowadays, electronic devices are keeping us from getting enough shut-eye by emitting a particular blue light that closely resembles daylight. If you spend hours or just minutes before sleep staring at the screen of your cell phone or laptop, melatonin production suffers. The same thing, though not to such an extent, goes for streetlights or any other sources of lighting near you at bedtime. Melatonin deficiency leads to obesity, diabetes, and even cancer. And that's not something to take lightly. Uh, take lightly. Yeah, I get the pun. <laughs> so, when you go to bed at night, put away any devices emitting blue light, get blackout window shades, or find a cute sleep mask. Eat some cherries before going to sleep, since they're rich in melatonin. Also, don't wear anything too tight to bed. Studies have proven that constrictive clothing can decrease the production of melatonin by as much as 60%. Endorphins Now, this hormone is a natural painkiller produced by your body. It's known for its ability to deal with the pain caused both by internal and external factors. Endorphins don't get rid of pain completely. They just decrease its intensity. That's why you can often find these chemicals in pharmaceutical painkillers. Another cool thing about endorphins is that they can make you feel high absolutely legally. Nah, legally? When the pituitary gland starts pumping out endorphins, your mood improves and you become euphoric. And the more endorphins your body releases, the happier you are. That's why a lot of runners experience the so-called runner's high. When they push themselves to their physical limit, instead of feeling exhausted, they feel strong and ready to conquer the world. So raise your cup to amazing endorphins. This hormone also allows people to perform effectively in extreme conditions. Our ancestors managed to survive in a hostile environment because endorphins block pain, giving them time to escape life-threatening situations. Whoa, saber-toothed tiger, gotta go! People with a low level of endorphins are too emotionally sensitive, have an extremely low pain tolerance, crave comfort foods, and may even feel depressed. To boost your level of endorphins, you can follow a special diet containing foods rich in good fats like avocados, olives, and coconut. Again, try to get out in the sun more, listen to your favorite music, exercise regularly, laugh more, and eat some dark chocolate. Ooh, dark chocolate, yeah! Now those are some satisfying tips to follow. Adrenaline, also known as epinephrine. Your kidneys produce this hormone to help you deal with stress. When you find yourself in a tense situation, two glands at the top of the kidneys release adrenaline to prepare you for fight-or-flight mode. Shall I stay or shall I go? Although some people believe that adrenaline lessens our pain, it's not exactly true. To be more precise, it makes you concentrate on the most urgent task at the moment, so you won't pay attention to your scraped knee while escaping from a burning building. Plus, adrenaline helps you see better by dilating your pupils. It allows you to notice potential danger, like your boss for instance, earlier and avoid it. 
Adrenaline also helps you think two or three times more quickly by stimulating your brain. This important hormone can stop a heart attack or an allergic reaction. Maybe this fact will surprise you, but EpiPens are named after adrenaline, aka epinephrine. Adrenaline constricts your veins, which in turn causes your heart to pump more blood. It also prevents the airways from narrowing if a person is having a life-threatening allergic reaction so that breathing returns to normal. Nor epinephrine, nor adrenaline. This hormone also helps your body cope with a high-stress situation. It's produced in the central nervous system and in the adrenal glands. The effect noradrenaline has on your body is elevated blood pressure, dilated pupils, increased heart rate, and widened air passages. Not to mention, this hormone redirects the flow of blood from your skin to your muscles. That's what your body needs to operate well in potentially dangerous or highly stressful situations. Norepinephrine isn't produced constantly, but rather only when needed and disappears from the system after the threat is gone. Doctors use injections of norepinephrine during emergencies to restore critically low blood pressure. The hormone narrows the blood vessels in the limbs and directs the blood flow to the most important organs, the heart and the brain. A deficiency of this chemical can lead to some mental health problems like depression, anxiety, and even eating disorders. In this case, people might feel brain fog, lack of interest in life, and lethargy. If this all unfortunately sounds familiar to you, you can try to balance your level of norepinephrine naturally by eating the right foods. Bananas, beans, chocolate, chocolate, cheese, eggs, chicken, meat, fish, and seafood, as well as oatmeal will help you out. Oatmeal. All right, that's enough. Doing exercise, jumping into cold water, or vice versa, sweating in a sauna are other ways to increase norepinephrine in your system by two or three times. So, do you know any other interesting facts about hormones? Share with us in the comments below. Remember to give us a like for this helpful information. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you won't miss anything exciting happening on the Bright Side of Life.